Hi guys, so I received a message from my website from Chris. Um, now this is just a warning to those of you who are uh, sending me messages from my website. You actually need to put your YouTube username in the name field. Because um, I, I don't want to end up trying to, if I go to message you back on YouTube, I don't want to end up messaging the wrong person. Because if I was to message Chris and it isn't the same Chris as um, the username that's on YouTube, I'm going to end up emailing or messaging some random person. So uh, just make sure, I've actually put that on my um, web page but I don't know, pe some people seem to not be paying attention because I keep getting people putting their actual name instead of their YouTube username so uh, please put your YouTube username in the name field if you go to email me. Now uh, his question is, okay so I have a question, can you make a tutorial on how to add an image in the search bar at the top of your web browser for your website? For example you have the green, red, blue and yellow flag icon thing on the top, can you explain how to do that? I sure can. I'm going to go onto my website just to show you what he means, for those of you who don't understand what he's on about. See, I've gone onto mob3.co.uk and it's actually come up with, you see my logo here, it's actually come up with a little icon version of it up here. Now, what this is actually called, it's called a fav icon. Um, I think it's just short for favourites icon, because if, if I was to add this to one of my favourites, um, if I was just to drag this into technology or something, and then load it up, uh, eventually, you see it's now changed, so that is the icon, so it, it just it just makes it look nicer in your favourites. So, um, uh, yeah, um, now the way to do this is simply to make a .ico file um, and uh, put it in the root of your directory, or your, the root of your, um, your, your web server. So if I was to go onto my, uh, I'll show you mine, because mine works a little bit differently, because mine's using, um, I'll cancel that, because mine's using Joomla, it's referenced a different directory um, than the root. Now if you don't use anything like Joomla or WordPress or any uh, content management system, you've just got a basic site with um, just a couple of HTML files in. Uh, as far as I know, you just uh, have to put the .ico file into the main um, directory and I'll tell you how to make an ico file in a second. So I think that mine is, I haven't got one in my main directory no, I have it in um, images, I think. And there we go, favicon.ico. Now this is the um, icon that it's referencing here. And um, if I show you the administration on my website, if I just log in, it's in. It's under global configuration for those of you who have Joomla. Uh, it said favorite sites icon favicon.ico. Now it just references it in the um, in the images directory. Now uh, I just think that's done through the PHP or it's uh, done through some sort of file because usually you could just put the fav icon in the in the root of it and it will work but uh, it's just done through the other one so um, I if you want to make your own little fav icon you can do it or you can just uh, make a normal windows icon and then you can put it up or you can use um, a online service a fav icon generator um, basically you can um, upload uh, your image that you want to make a fav icon just say create icon and then you can download it and then it will apply it as this little icon. Um, so uh, that's about it really, I can't really say anything more for that. that it's called a fav icon or a favorite icon and um, you just have to put it into the root so that's um, in like whatever, if you've got an HT docs or a whatever, public HTML or something like that, you just put it into there and it should work. Uh, so thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.